All right, today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do this high puff. Today, I'll be using some products that I was sent from Care Care. I'll be going in with their cleansing cream and their honey shea co-wash. Um, I really like washing my hair in the sink. I'm real old school when it comes to that. I think I get my hair the cleanest and I just don't miss any spots. I live by just washing my hair in the sink the old fashioned way. Since I got the cleansing cream and a co-wash, I decided to use the co-wash as more of a conditioner. And I really, really like it. It left my hair super, super soft, which was kind of surprising. All right, so next you're gonna make sure you rinse all the products out and I'm gonna get my handy dandy t-shirt to dry all of my hair. All right, next I'll be going in with their buttercream moisturizer and I'll be applying this all over my hair. I like to keep my hair clipped up in the four sections, it just makes it easier. Alright, so now that I've moisturized all of my hair, I'll be going in with their Curl Defining Cream. I really like this because it's kind of like a gel, but it's not as thick as a gel. But it kind of left my hair feeling really defined as if I had used like an Eco Styler or something like that. Alright, now I have that applied all over and now it's time to twist. Twist, twist, twist for the guys. Um, I'm doing them kind of small because I want my puffs to be as defined as possible. So I'm kind of taking my time and doing my hair in sections. Remember, sections can be your friends, when, especially when it's time to twist your hair up. Now that I've done twisting my hair and I look like Travis Scott, I'm going to put a bonnet on and let my hair dry overnight. Before you take these twists down, make sure that your hair is completely and thoroughly dry. Um, here I apply a little oil and as you can see, I'm just untwisting the twists individually one by one. I'm trying to make sure that I'm keeping the actual twists, I'm not just pulling them out and messing up the curl. And I'm going in with this wide tooth comb and I'm just kind of fluffing my hair out. I really need to get a pick, like, but every time I go into the beauty spa store, I forget, but I really, really need one. But anyways, yeah, just puff it out to make it as big as possible. Alright, so now it's time to lay the edges. I'm going in with that edge control. I'm putting a linen on the back too, um, just to smooth it out and get it as laid as possible. Once you have that all smoothed out, I'm going in with a piece of a stocking and I'm just going to make my puff. I'm, I'm just pulling it from the back as you can see. The tighter you pull it, the smaller your puff will be. So I didn't really want my, wanted a big puff, so I didn't really pull it that tight. And I just 
tucked it under my hair around the back and voila tough Alright, so now it's just time to add the finishing touches and kind of just get everything where you want it to be and make sure, you know, everything's in formation. Um, my hair is super, super soft. Like, I just wanted to point that out. Like, these products, that's my hair is really, really soft. Um, I'll be sure to leave all of the information on these care care products in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure that you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, ladies.